Hello and welcome to the first in our series of recorded webinars showcasing some of the functionality within NWA Quality Analyst. In this 10 minute session we're going to look at how easy it is to connect Quality Analyst to external data sources and the examples we're going to use are Excel, Access and a SQL database. So the first thing we're going to do is launch up NWA Quality Analyst. And before we get any further, we need to explain that the standard unit of currency within Quality Analyst is something called a data set. This is a collection of related information that forms the basis of the data that you're going to analyze. So in order to get data from an external source into Quality Analyst, we need to bring it into this data set view. So the first job is to create this data set. We're now prompted as to the source of the data set. If we clicked on define new, we could manually type in some names of some columns and some data types and manually enter the data. But because we want to connect and bring in information from an external source, we're going to choose the option for new external database. And as soon as we do that, we're presented with the external database setup screen. And this is the standard screen that you're going to use to connect to any external data source, whether it be Excel, Access, SQL, Oracle or LIMS. First thing we need to do is specify the type of connection that we want to create. And for our first example, we're going to use Excel. So by clicking on the connection drop down, we get to choose Excel. And as soon as we do so, we're prompted to navigate to the location of the Excel file. Now my example files are located within the Quality Analyst Program Files folder. So we're going to navigate to C, Program Files, QA, Tutorial. And I've got an example here called fill.xls. This spreadsheet file could be anywhere on your computer or it could even be on a network server. So once we've specified the location of our spreadsheet file, we click on Open. We now get prompted to choose which worksheet within our spreadsheet file we want to look at. And you can see from this example that we have three worksheets within the XLS file itself. I could choose Data. It will show me the list of fields that are in that worksheet. Or I could choose Sheet 2 and I get presented with a different number of fields. For this example I'm going to use the data worksheet and the available fields it's showing me are the column headings from my Excel file. So now I've specified my connection, the location of my spreadsheet file and the worksheet I want to analyze. I can click on OK. The next job is to marry up the information from our Excel spreadsheet into our Quality Analyst dataset. And we can do that by choosing particular fields from Excel and double clicking them and bringing them across into our Quality Analyst dataset. Alternatively, you can highlight groups of fields and assign them en masse. Another option is to just use the Assign All button and that will bring over all of the fields into your Quality Analyst dataset. You can also see that Quality Analyst has assigned a column name based on the name of the external database field. And if you wanted to change these, you can do so. Now the other thing that we need to do on this screen is specify a key column. Key columns are really important when you start to use some of the more advanced functionality in Quality Analysts, such as assignable cause, corrective action, and tagging data. For now, we're going to specify our key columns as being date of test, operator, and lot code. And the reason I'm choosing three fields is that I need to guarantee that I'm choosing a single row of data within my data set. So a combination of date of test, the name of the operator and the lock code can only happen once per row. Each row is going to have a different combination of these three fields. Click on OK and we click OK. And now the information is queried from Excel and brought directly into our Quality Analyst dataset. 
And at this point, we're now two clicks away from creating a process capability histogram. We highlight the column that we're interested in, and we choose the process capability histogram icon from the top. And there you can see the resulting histogram. We can close this down. And what we're going to do is we don't want to have to create that connection to Excel every time we want to look at this weight information. So what we're going to do is we're going to save our data set to our desktop and we're going to give it a name data from Excel. And click on save. And now that we've saved that data set, every time we open it that connection to Excel is going to be queried and the latest data is going to be brought across. And this is really useful if you've got operators entering data into Excel and you want to perform SPC analysis on it, all you need to do is create a Quality Analyst data set connected to that Excel file and open it up in Quality Analyst. All of the latest information will be queried and brought over into the Quality Analyst software and it's available to create your control charts with just a couple of mouse clicks. So I'm going to close down this data set and for our next example we're going to look at how we connect to an Access database. Connecting to an Access database is exactly the same procedure as we just went through for Excel. We go to Create a new data set, select New External Database, and we choose our connection type and this time we choose Microsoft Access. As before we need to navigate to the location of our data source and again our database file is located in C Drive Program Files QA Tutorial and is called Center. So I'm choosing my MDB file again this could be a network file and I'm clicking on Open. Again, we have to choose the location of the information within that data file. So with Excel, we got to choose which worksheet. With Access, we get to choose which table we want to look at, or indeed if there's a particular query that's part of that database. Any tables and queries within your Access database file will show up in this drop-down list. So for this example, I'm going to choose Lab Data, and I'm going to click OK. And this time I'm going to use my Assign All button to bring all of my fields from my external data source into my Quality Analyst data set. And my key columns for this example are going to be a single field called Sample ID. If I wasn't sure about which of my key fields were going to yield a single row of data, I could choose all of these values just to be sure that I'm guaranteeing a unique row within my data set. So I'm going to click OK and immediately the information is queried from Microsoft Access and brought over into Quality Analyst. Now again I can save this particular data set as data from Access so that when I go back in and open up that file it queries the Access database and brings over all of the latest information. Incidentally what you can also do is when you've got the data set open and you feel that new data may be available we can click on the data drop down menu and we have an option here for query database. And essentially that refreshes the information in our quality analyst data set with all of the latest values from the Microsoft Access table. So let's close that down. So we've now connected to an Excel spreadsheet and an Access database. Our next example will take you through the steps of connecting to a SQL database table. Connecting to a SQL database is exactly the same process as we've used for connecting to Excel and Access. We create a new dataset select the option for New External Database 
and from our connection drop down we instead of choosing Microsoft Access or Excel we choose the option for ODBC. ODBC stands for Open Database Connectivity and it's the way in which computers communicate with professional databases such as SQL and Oracle. Now by choosing ODBC I now get to choose a list of data sources and if you're connecting to your company's SQL Server or Oracle database then you'll need your IT department to create a data source connection on your machine. This is a very straightforward procedure using standard Windows technology and if there's any queries about this then please contact your local support representative. For this demonstration I've got a connection already created on my machine called Test SQL which I'm going to select from my drop down list and in exactly the same way as Excel and Access I'm now prompted to choose which data table I want to connect to and the one I'm going to choose here is our waste treatment table and as soon as I do that I'm presented with all of the available fields that I can now connect to so we'll click OK we're going to use assign all to marry up the fields from the database to the fields in quality analyst we're going to check our data types are correct so that date is a D operation is an alpha field and we also get to choose our key columns again so we'll click on add and we know in this example data set that batch number is different for every row of data so that is our key field highlight that and click OK we can now click OK to bring all of the information over from our SQL table and it's again available in Quality Analyst two clicks and we get to our control chart and as before I'm going to save that connection so that I don't have to go through that process each time so now what we've done is we've created a connection to Excel, Access and SQL and when we want to analyze that data in future instead of going through that connection process we simply open up the file in question so we go to file open and we choose data from access and we connect to our access table we can open up our Excel data file and there is our Excel data and we can also open up our SQL file and it queries the SQL table so it's very easy to hop around between different data sources and create connections to multiple areas where information is relevant to your process might be. There's a couple of other useful things we can do now that we've created these connections and the most important one of which is filtering the data to ensure that you get the information that you require for your analysis. One of the most useful things that we can do now we've created our connection is to start filtering the data to ensure that the information that we're getting back from our Excel spreadsheet or Access database or even our SQL table is only the information that we want to be looking at. Fortunately Quality Analyst makes it very easy to apply external database filters so that you only bring back the data that you're interested in. With our SQL data set open we can now apply some filtering criteria so we go to the edit menu and choose database connectivity definition and we now click on the tab for external database filters now I can add a single filter for method which may be the case that I only want to look at data whose analytical method is B8. So I can enter that in and click OK. Quality Analyst now queries the external database and makes sure that the only information returned to our data set is for the analytical method B8. I can also add multiple filters in exactly the same way. Go to Edit, Database Connectivity Definition, External Database Filters and I might only be interested in data where my batch number 
is greater than 1, 2, 3, 5, 7. And if we apply that, Quality Analyst queries the external data source and makes sure that the only information returned to our data set is that which meets both criteria. And now we've filtered this information, we can create the appropriate SPC charts. What we might want to do is change those database filters so we get prompted each time we open the data set as to what information we want to see. So instead of this data set purely bringing in information for method B8 and where batch number is greater than 12357, I might want to have Quality Analyst ask me for this information. So I'm going to choose the drop down box and I'm going to set that to ask and batch number I'm going to set also to ask. So that every time I open this data set I get prompted as to the information I want to see. So I might say I only want to see data where the method is B10 and the batch number is greater than 12378. Quality Analyst then applies that query and returns the corresponding data. And again, now we've filtered out the information that we don't want, we can start performing process capability analysis on the information that we're interested in. And our resulting chart includes the database filters that we've added. So by clicking on OK, we get a process capability histogram which clearly shows us that the method is B10 and it's for batch numbers which are greater than 12378. Hopefully you found this recorded webinar useful and it's given you some ideas for how you can use Quality Analyst to analyse your own information, whether it be in Excel, Access, Oracle, SQL or LIMS. The connection method is exactly the same. If you'd like to find out more about NWA Quality Analyst or even download a trial version which is fully functional for 30 days, then please visit our website. The option for download a demo is on the left hand side and you can also find out a lot more information about the product. If you'd like to speak to somebody at Adept Scientific directly, then you can call us on 01462 480055. Alternatively, you can email quality at adeptscience.co.uk.